All righty. Uh, I'm going to do a correction. Correction, my dear little troll friends and everybody else out there in YouTube land, YouTube world. We're going to do some correction on Felix Baumgartner's supposed 128,000, 127,000 high altitude jump. I've shown before that the uh, capsules don't line up there, even though they're both supposedly the same picture in space. Look at his helmet. Looks a little bit different there. Anyway, uh, but actually, you can find this online. I'll show you the video. But the I told you before to remember that panel, that instrument panel that was curved, had curvature to it. Yeah. Uh, an 18-inch panel can have curvature when you have a GoPro lens on. So this is a GoPro lens that has been corrected. So very interesting. Original is on the left, on the bottom left there, and then the corrected is the larger picture. So here we go. Standard lens. That's what normal looks like. Now see that panel on the left there. That's the one I, I when I saw that I was like, oh man, there. I, I was amazed that they're, they were going to show the whole thing from start to finish from uh, the camera that he had on, which was a GoPro. So Red Bull stratospheric jump from 24.2 miles, fisheye lens corrected to standard lens. That's the title of the video. Look it up, watch it, shout out to him. So anyway, and I'm, I'm just going to you know go through this. You can look at it yourself. I caught this one because the you can see on the right, that strut with the tape on it is straight. In the left, it's curving. And look at the size of the tiny, tiny, tiny little earth. About, uh, like I said, that that looks like it's maybe two, I'm guessing, it's just a small part of New Mexico. It's a small part of the desert. That's not North America. It's not one side of the earth, people. That's a little tiny ball created by the fish islands. All right, seen this before. Okay, correction. Right there you can see uh, about straight, good horizon. On the left, but on the left, see, it's an upside down earth. It's a concave earth. So the sky is a ball. And I've, you know, just go through this, look at it. Pretty neat. You know, you can see the difference there. Again, the, the earth is convexing. It's the wrong concaving. It's the wrong way. Um, on the right it was straight. Here it's straight. On the left it's concave. And then that was it. It's going to be a short video. Uh, this is from the end of that video that was uh, how to stop believing in flat earth. And it's Whatever was out there taking pictures of Antarctica is a pretty weird craft. I don't know what it is, but uh, I kind of assumed it was a drone. But it's it looks like you can see an arm there that's got a link in it, and it's uh, it's like it's a it looks like to me like what it would look like of a, a an airplane strut. But anyway, I don't know. I can't identify that at all. The plane is moving from the left to the right. The, the craft is moving from the left to the right. Maybe it's an alien craft, I don't know. Maybe it's a UFO. But it wouldn't take, I think that, I would just like to throw it out there. I think it would be awesome. Some rogue nation, BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. Y'all are not really in favor of the New World Order. Putin's uh, actually said, according to one source, that he is going to take in 15,000 I would hope families, I'll, I'm going to say families, not people, from South Africa. Rescue them from being slaughtered by the blacks there. So they're killing off, they've been killing off uh, white Christian farmers there for uh, a number of decades now. The last time any statistics were sent out was in 2001, 18 years ago. Scary stuff. All right. Anyway, it wouldn't take a whole lot for a couple of those nations to just totally go rogue 
from the New World Order and uh, the United Nations who have gathered themselves together against Yahweh and against his anointed, saying, we will not have this man to rule over us. And run a drone, run a UAV, a big drone, a solar-powered drone around Antarctica. Whether that's going to be a concave shoreline or a convex shoreline, we'll know. We would know. Run it around there. And if it's always, you know, if it looks like that, okay. If it's, an, you know, if it's a, a continent like they say it is, great. We'll know. But I'm just putting that out there. I think somebody ought to do that, guys. So speak it out there. Speak it forth. See it happen. This craft, I was just like, that is just weird. Because it just, uh, I've never seen any wing, fixed wing aircraft with that much garbage out there hanging out off of the tip of a wing. That looks, it should be a tip of a wing. Now, it could be the nose of a craft, but what kind of, you know, I got to run it by my sons. They, they both were uh, military identification experts when they were younger little kids, you know, they, they could identify, they, they, I don't know how they did it, but man, they had Jane's military aircraft just practically memorized every country, every, oh, that's a, that's a German, no, that's a Czechoslovakia, no, that's a, you know, they had it all down, <laughs> so I've thought about sending that to them and seeing if they can come up with any kind of an ID on that thing, all right, that's it, thank you, Mr. Jerry Diamond, done for the night, morning, ha <laughs> Yahweh bless, and we'll see you uh, for Torah and uh, Sabbath meeting, hopefully, a few of you maybe. So, all right, goodbye.